Oh my gosh. Babe, that, that's a giant. That is a giant. I'm gonna boat flip him. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Guys, it's one of my favorite times of the year. It is now dock shooting for crappie time, all right? We're gonna be fishing docks. I have Hannah with me today. Now guys, Hannah has never shot docks for crappie, so this should be really interesting. It should be a very teachable moment, and we're out here just gonna have a lot of fun today. Of course, just like every video, I'm gonna try my best to give you some tips and tricks on how to shoot these docks. Guys, these crappie will go to docks post spawn, okay? Today, we're gonna to be using the six foot ACC dock shooter paired with Dead River baits. Guys, I'm gonna show y'all this bait real quick. This right here is the Gray Ghost Minner, but it has a chartreuse tail. I re requested this from uh, Jesse and he sent me a few to try. So this is gonna be the first time these have ever been used on camera. Guys, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love you some crappie fishing, come hit it, come join the 903 Fishing Family. We would love to have you. Y'all be sure to stay tuned. We about to get them. All right, guys, we're gonna see what we can do. Remember guys, this is Hannah's first time dock shooting. So if you see her over there hitting the dock and stuff, don't laugh at her. She's just getting used to it. We're gonna see if there's any fish under this first one. A lot of the times those crappie will hit it on the fall like that. Well, he hit that one after I popped it. There's one. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good black crappie. Oh man, look at that one, baby. Mm. Oh, he got me good. Got me good. Oh, that's a good fish. No measurement needed on that one. Let's go. Let's go good black crappie guys you're going to predominantly find black crappie under docks now you will catch white crappie all right but you're going to predominantly find black crappie why i don't know the science behind that i really don't but that is what you're mainly going to find the camera's on my head i hope this angle is good for you guys there's another one there's another one back to back shots right there get off from that pole boy Oh, that's another keeper fish. Good eater black crappie. That's that's what we're trying to find today. Actually, we're probably going to measure him a little bit. Measure him, make sure he's good. If this is your first video you're watching on the channel, 11 inch 11 inch black 11 and a quarter. Go ahead and think about hitting that subscribe button. I'm going to have several dock shooting videos coming up. That is two fish on two cast dock shooting for crappie guys this is so fun this is uh last year it was really my first year dock shooting and it quickly became one of my favorite ways to catch crappie be a good one to practice on there he is, is that, that's a crappie that's a big one. Oh yeah look at that black crappie oh man that's a good black look at that guys that's what i'm talking about no measurement needed put him in the how many is that one two three is that four mm -hmm. okay all right guys if y'all if you've been around the channel you know about the gray ghost minner from dead river baits now on a live show not too long ago i got the idea of putting a chartreuse tail on the gray ghost minner and that's exactly what this is and i've caught i've caught fish on them so far so let's see if we can't get another one. Oh, oh! He did you have, have him so had one you still got to set the hook on him okay yeah. uh, i mean that's why you don't want your line too slack you want it to be able to see it going down because your line is just going to go pop Oh, there he was right there on that pillar. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, golly, that's a good black crappie. Man, these are some toad black crappie, man. Wow. Look at that, guys, toad black. That's probably about a 12-incher probably or so. 
Let me see. Is that a 12 incher? Mm -hmm. 12, it is exactly 12. I called that. 12, 12 and a quarter. That's a good fish, guys. Let's rock. Let's go. That's number six right there. We're gonna see how many we could put in that live well today. See, look, just watch for a second. It's going, okay, it's at the bottom. Now look, as I reel, I'm gonna pop, 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 let it fall. See how much I can see my line? It fell. Again, fall, reel, pop. One down, it hit it. Now once you get kind of out here, it's gonna be, you know, no, you know, chances of getting a bite are less and less the, the more you get out to the dock, unless they're just sitting there. There, that was a good shot. That was a real good shot. You got a real good chance of a fish right there. Caught a lot of fish off that off those pillars right. Get, you got him. She's got him. Look at there. It's a freaking catfish. But you know what? That's her first dock, uh, dock shooting catfish. <laughs> hey, you want the pliers? You gonna break your line doing that? You gotta grab the fish. First dock shooting catfish. Okay, but I told you that was gonna be a fish. I mean, I could just tell by the way it went under there. That was good, real good. That's that's what you want right there. Oh yeah, catfish, he gonna mess it up. Guys, it's early May right now in Texas and it's 94 degrees today and I don't know why. Um, What? I am sweating profusely. It, it doesn't usually get this hot this quick. I don't know if y'all can see my arms, but that is just sweat. It's kind of rough. It is rough right now. Let's see if we can get another one. Hitting something under there. Oh my gosh, babe. That that's a giant. That is a giant. I'm gonna boat flip him. Oh my god. Oh, I got the what? What is that line? Yeah. It's all good, baby. Look at that fish, guys. Holy crap. Hold on. Here, let me, I'll deal with that in a second. Look at, that, <laughs> that is called post-spawn crappie. Look at the belly on it, gone. As a female, she's already laid her eggs, guys. That is a big fish. You know what we're gonna do? A lot of y'all don't think these fish are big. We're gonna row, row with this right here. Check this out, hopefully y'all can see this. This is a 14, right at 14 inch crappie right there. 14 inch crappie, white crappie guys, that's a beauty. Nice. All right guys, now I do have my fish finder today, but something's wrong with the transducer wire. It says it's not working. So no electronics like usual. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going from dock to dock shooting underneath if no bites then we're just moving on to the next that's how you got to fish these docks if, especially if, if you're not using electronics you got to move you got to move 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 there he is uh oh it feels like a good one it is no, big old white crop you guys look at that bucket mouth on that fish Come on, oh Lord, ACC boat flip. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, that is a hoss. Post spawn female, look at the mouth. Look at the mouth, guys. That is a huge mouth on that crappie. I'm gonna have to get the pliers real quick. Oh man, what a fish. What a fish needed one of these in that tournament the other day. Let's see, that last one was 14 inches. This one looks a little longer. Four, ah, come on fish. 
15 15 inch crappie guys 15 inch crappie shooting docks white crappie big old fish wow that's a big one hey guys one thing i want to explain real quick about this dock shooting there's basically two different ways to do this okay of course you're going to shoot your jig under the dock now once it's under there you can do one of two methods you can do which the method that i do is i let the jig fall all the way down to the bottom and then i pop it about two or three times and let it continue to fall to the bottom and then just repeat that process or you can do the second method which is let that jig fall all the way to the bottom and give it a slow slow reel as you're popping it all the way back to you now from my experience i have learned that i get better results if i pop it and let it fall all the way down because most of the time that's going to keep that bait in the strike zone longer versus you reeling it all the way without stopping it. it that bait is falling and coming up falling coming up so that is the method that i would prefer to use Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, if that's a crappie bay, that's another toad. And it is, it is another toad. Look at that crappie, guys. Not as big as that last one, but that is still a good fish. Wow. Guys, what I'm doing is these set of pillars right here is running right down, right in the middle of the dock. I'm tossing that jig right on the sides of those pillars. Usually those crappie, are going to be nose in on those pillars waiting for bait fish to cross their face and that's what i'm doing with this jig right here all right guys we just made our way across the lake came back to where we started i thought some docks would be protected where i was going but i was totally wrong oh i was totally wrong so we're back to where we started and we're going to fish these pro protected docks from the wind You gotta let that jig fall all the way to the bottom, guys. Pop it back up. Just caught a nice white crappie off this dock. I'm gonna try to see if we can't find another one. There's a fish. Feels like a crappie. It is a crappie. There's one I'm talking about. That's a good one. Oops, that's a keeper. A little black crappie. I don't know, we're gonna check him real quick. Guys, make sure he's 10. Oh yeah, he's 11. 11 inch black crappie right there. That's the problem, the waves are coming in. We're protected, but there's still waves coming in pretty, pretty decent. And there's another fish. Feels like a good one. You can get it back there. They're there. Oh, and it's another. Oh, it's a white. It's a white. Big old white. Look at that. Big old white crappie. There he is, guys. I didn't even know he was on there. He hit it on the fall before I even knew he was on. Dang, their tails are all beat up from spawning. Post-spawn crappie guys, post-spawn. Live wheels getting them in. <laughs> there he is. I got that one. Yeah, uh, yes sir. Good black crappie. Boy, that sucker. Oh, I thought he took my jig first. Oh, no, no, come here fish. Killing me. Is that wind changing direction? There's another decent black crappie, guys. 11, 11 and a half. Good eater fish, not gonna measure it. No, no, no need to. Guys, right now I'm using this monkey milk with a red with a green tail from Dead River Baits. And uh, 
fished a tournament out here not too long ago and these crappie really like this color so i figured i'd go ahead and throw it again just to see but i've caught fish on every jig i've used today i've caught fish off of it i don't think color is really important when you're doing this dock shooting i really don't you just need to get something underneath there 80 percent the, there he is there he is 80 percent of the time it's a oh he came off 80 percent of the time it's a reaction bite anyway so when they see it fall by them they hit it There he is. Hit on the fall. Oh, nice. Look at that. Another white. Another white crappie, guys. Let's get it. All right. Now, I know this is 10, but yeah, I'm not going to measure. Probably almost 12. Probably so. White crappie. Right. well that's a good sign guys we fished these two middle rungs right here now I've done scooted over and I'm gonna fish these two you got to be sure to fish the whole dock if you fish part of the dock and don't get bit there's a chance there could be fish on it on another place especially a huge dock like this don't give up on that dock all right guys it was a very rough day out on the water okay the wind is 20 plus show them the lake wind is 20 plus i tried to find some docks that were out of the wind but it was rough guys but you know what we still ended with some nice fish all right we're still ending with some nice fish we're gonna put these uh i don't know how many we got that's another nice white crappie three white crappie four 13 14 and 15. We ended the day with 15 crappie, guys. We made a run all the way across the lake at one point, and coming back, me and Hannah just got soaking wet. I mean, I almost had to take my shirt off and wring it out. But, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. There's going to be more dock shooting coming to the channel very soon, and I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot better fishing. But if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, come hit it. Come join the 903 Fishing family. We would love to have you. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.